What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you interested in check rain for more devices like the A10 and stuff like that on iOS 14, but also for those of you interested in the uncovered type jailbreaks for the 13.7 and stuff like that. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans and their contest where you can win the brand new iPhone 12. All you have to do is to share the story behind your first iPhone with the hashtag backupwithanytrans on your social media. Check it out in the link below. So I'm going to start with an important thing. The iOS 14.1 has been officially released and it's part of the signed versions at this point. However, it doesn't seem to be a problem for the jailbreaking because if you take a look in here on the Apple security updates, it says that iOS 14.1 and iPadOS 14.1 has no published CVE entries. So that's basically the same thing as the 14.0.1, which also did not have any CVEs, which means that it's the same as 14.0. Now, it's a little bit hard for me to believe that there have been two different iOS versions versions in which they did basically nothing in terms of security, but for now they don't have any patched vulnerabilities listed in here. Do keep in mind however that just because they say there are no changes, it doesn't really mean there are no changes, because they can update the CVE entries at a later time. But for now 14.1 seems to be very similar to 14.0.1 in terms of security, and in fact the size is barely any bigger. But anyways we got some great news at first for the check rain, but not only. Now as you probably know the check rain does support iOS 14 but only on a very limited subset of devices and those are the A9X and A9 devices. Basically the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone SE, some iPads in here and the Apple TV 4 and 4K. But the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPod Touch 7 and some iPads are not supported. Basically the A10 devices are not supported. Now what the check rain team wanted to do in order to add support for these devices is to use the black which can somehow be used for the A10 devices as well. Well, good news, Luca Tedesco, part of the CheckRain team, posted yesterday, quote, worked on the A10 CheckRain with the team today. We have the exploit integrated within the boot flow and SEP patching is done. So we are quite close to a release. So basically, we're going to have the iOS 14 CheckRain, which yes, will support 14.1 as well. And of course, that's actually quite cool because this will also support the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPod Touch 7, which is the latest iPod Touch, and possibly even iPad 6th and 7th generation, and the iPad Pro 2nd generation, because these have the A10 chip. So the next update of the check rain will support the A10 devices as well on iOS 14 with tweaks and stuff like that, so that's actually quite good. But we also have some good news for those of you interested in the uncover-like jailbreaks. Now, as you probably know, the Free Sandbox movement decided to create a jailbreak, basically similar to uncover, and this one would support 13.5 and 13.7. Back at the end of the September, they said, quote, we are building a new jailbreak team. First release soon for 13.5 and 13.7. And well, just a couple of days ago, they posted this, quote, almost ready. Now, we don't exactly know what exactly are they ready for, but it's possible that they mean the jailbreak tool is almost ready because they said that the first release will come soon. So it would make sense. Now, a lot of people ask me if they are legitimate because, well, they popped out of nowhere. Well, well, yes, they are. I think the Frida Sandbox movement is part of the Zecops, which is this company here, if I'm not mistaken, which of course is a pretty big and serious company that does security research. So yes, they are legitimate. Now, this is not going to be the Uncover. For the Uncover, we still need to wait for the exploit by the developer that's going to release it at the Black Hat in December, but we might have a jailbreak for 13.5, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.7 before that if the Frida Sandbox movement released their tool before the uncover. I guess we're going to see, but for those of you who want to use the check rain, it will soon receive an update that will add support for iOS 14 all the way up to 14.1 for more devices, and this is going to be with tweaks as well. So yep, that's basically it, pretty good news, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, and peace out!